really loud in this van. Um, we're in George's work van, so. Because um, he's got winter tires and I don't. <laughs> and there's cars in the ditch everywhere, but not us. Yeah, so we're on our way to Victoria to do my appointment. There's a bit of a cluster that go along with that. It snowed nine inches yesterday. Wow. In one day. We actually had a total of 13 inches according to our measurement on our deck. So Yeah, it was it was craziness. Absolutely. We have no snow plows in the city of Nanaimo. There's one horse drawn snow plow <laughs> and the horses don't get out very well in the cold, so Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, it's been a bit of a cluster. We ended up calling the doctor's office and they said that the office was closed because of the snow. So I canceled my appointment and I called to reschedule and they said, oh no, they're open. So I was like, okay, well now I've just canceled my appointment. You know, so now the roads are clear and it's sunny and I'm going, okay, so now what? <laughs> she says, well, if you want, because it's supposed to snow again later today, uh, if you want to come in at 1 o'clock instead of 3 o'clock, you can do that. Which okay. is what I wanted originally in the first place. Yeah, well, It was an earlier appointment. Yeah. So, we took the 1 o'clock appointment, and now we are on our way. So, <clears throat> I hopefully this will be a good visit and maybe they'll tell me that I can get off my scooter and start weight bearing. Might be a little overzealous, but I guess we'll see. So anyways, hopefully I'll be able to get an, a, a picture of the x-ray. That would be cool. I find out if I have pins in my toe because I still can't bend my big toe. There's got to be a reason. Uh, so. And Dragon Boat season is only a few months away. I... I'm not dragon boating. I've, I've decided that I'm probably going to have to take the season off. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. George is just really wanting me to do this because he doesn't want to go by himself. And her sitting on her bum for a year isn't going to do her any good. Actually, it would. I'm getting a lot of crochet done. So, anyways, I brought my crochet with me, of course. Look, Laura, I've got my well ship uh, bag from Ellen. So, that, I, I was actually really surprised at how much this bag actually fit. I've got two balls of yarn in here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> i got two balls of yarn in here, my project, my crochet hooks, my scissors, my glasses. Our dinner. <laughs> my phone. Like, it holds a lot. So, I'm really, really happy with this bag. <laughs> Anyways, okay, well... Hopefully we'll be able to uh, get some good information from the doctor. We'll talk to you in a bit. Hi everybody. Hi guys. We're back. Uh, X-rays were good, and I am now Tominator free. Yay! I'm so happy I could cry. Um, I get to walk with a cane now, and uh, I tried just a smidgen of walking trying to get from the sidewalk to the van in the snow mind you and uh, it, it went okay <laughs> it was more of a heel walk than anything but uh, I did it so um, yay we're on the road to recovery when uh, when I'm at Stitch Fest in April I should be walking on my own and doing good well if so, I were to know well, you don't have to go. I can take Tia. It's too late now. I've already paid for it. So, um, we have a used Tominator for sale. Yeah. Only $300. Yeah. And uh, it can be your own. Yeah. Actually, the Tominator is spoken for. Apparently. Really? Yeah, Marina's mom. Oh. Our next door neighbor's mom is having the same surgery as me uh, in June or July, I think it is. So, um, yeah, so... Are we selling it? Or yes. Oh, so, okay. uh For $500. Uh, no. <laughs> so, anyways, it's going to be um, going to a good home. Uh, so, anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. 
uh, we'll probably get some video of me walking. <laughs> so so can... Sandy will be leading the dance off at the Stitch Fest. <laughs> yeah, right. So... I'll be too busy karaoke everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so I it... haven't got my, my set list yet. I'm still working on it, but I should have a few, a few by the time the day rolls around. So God help us all. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Okay, so I will check back in in a little bit. Bye. Bye. Hey, ready to go. <laughs> Sandy's walking. She's walking. She's walking. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Currently, she's looking for somebody as a partner in a three-legged race. It's like Frankenstein coming to get you. Oh. Oh. Okay, there it is. Okay, Bailey, you can't be in my way. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay, so we're home now, and I'm all settled, and I've been walking around a little bit. It's still a little nerve-wracking, and it's a little... It feels really weird. You know, it's, it feels like it's a fake foot. <laughs> So, and the funny thing is, is my actual foot, like my toes don't hurt so much as my ankle on the inside, which is bizarre. But um, here, I'll just show you, I'll give you an idea of what they kind of did. Okay, so if you look at my foot, right down here and right down here, is where they have the screws and then apparently right in here somewhere they have staples or one staple anyway holding something on I don't know but um, I mean it all looks pretty good it's it's kind of dark right now just because I'm you know there's not a lot of light right here see hi Bailey <laughs> so um, so yeah, but I mean, I, I can't, like, that's the extent of my toe bending. But what she said was, it's not because of the screws, it's because the muscles are really tight. So she wants me to start bending my toes back and forth. And, um, I mean, that doesn't hurt. So that's a good thing. It just feels really tight all in here and everything. But she wants me to start doing some exercises on my foot. And uh, see, that's, she says it'll get better. Once I'm walking around and I do the, um, you know, all the manipulations there and stuff, it should get to the point where I can, it will be like this foot. And I can bend. <laughs> but if you look at both my feet, like they, they're starting to look normal again. So that's good. So I'm pretty happy about that. Hi, everybody. Starting tomorrow, Sandy is going to try to put her best foot forward. <laughs> Have a good night. See you next time. Bye. So thanks for coming on my little journey with us today. And, uh, Onward and upward. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.